Hi guys, welcome to another great simple card trick. This one involves two decks of cards and it's a prediction effect. Not just one, but two predictions. You introduce the packs to your spectators. You tell them that the red deck has your prediction in and you're gonna put it there and they can put it in their pocket, hold on to it, no one touches it. You then remove the cards from the blue box. Now, the cards can be shuffled and mixed and cut and, and everything like that, so I could just shuffle these if you wish, okay? Like that. But you can see that the cards are just a regular pack of cards. You see, you're gonna turn to one spectator and ask them if they can just pick any card. So you go through and they pick a card. It is an absolute free choice. They can change their mind. There's no magician's force. You then turn to the second spectator and you ask them, touch any card, pick any card. Let's say they take that, give them a choice. Do you want this one or this one? Let's say they went for this one. So an absolute free choice of any card from the pack. These are the two cards that they've chosen. Let's take a look. Okay, the five of diamonds and the nine of spades. So not great cards in a poker game, but they're okay. A five and a nine, an absolute free choice from the pack. Before you started the trick, you had a premonition and you removed two cards from this deck here. You removed the cards. If I spread these out, you'll see they're all in order. Ace through to king. Ace through to king. Now, of course, you chose the nine and the five of diamonds. If we take a look here, we have every card except the five of diamonds. If we look at the spades, the only spade missing is the nine of spades. And that is a perfect double prediction. So here's a tutorial for this very easy card trick. I do like simplicity when doing these kind of card tricks, and this is no exception. The red deck is just a regular pack of cards. And all I did was remove the two cards that I'm gonna force onto the spectator, the five of diamonds and the nine of spades, and they're put away. In the blue deck, it's a fake deck of cards. If you haven't already guessed already, if I just go through, we have a stack of regular cards. There's nothing odd about those at all. However, the rest of the deck, if I spread them, we have 20 five of diamonds and 20 nine of spades. And that's as simple as it gets. So you've got all the nine of spades, all the five of diamonds. When you've got the cards on, you can shuffle them to reverse their order. But when you spread the cards, the first spectator can pick any of the 20 top cards. It makes no difference. When you approach the second spectator, you just offer them the bottom half and they're gonna pick anyone. The great thing about this is that they've seen some random cards. You can show them freely, put them on the bottom and later on show them again. So they did have a free choice. The reason I've stopped the video at this point in the tutorial is because when we originally filmed this, I forgot to include quite an important part. Well, I think it's worth mentioning, which is why I wanted to do this additional video clip here. Because we're dealing with a fake deck of cards, you're always trying various ways to convince the audience that they're just regular in a very subtle way. And I think this next part is worth pointing out. We already know that we can force any of the five of diamonds and in the lower half, it's all the nine of spades. When the first person takes their card, the second person takes their card from anywhere in the pack, namely the nine, it is worth actually just flipping the lower half over and spreading a few cards. Remember, we've got some regular cards at the bottom of the pack, and this makes all the difference. 
it looks as though when you flip this over that these were the cards right next to their chosen card and you go you could have had any of these it's just a very subtle way of saying look I have a regular deck of cards there it is there flip over spread a few cards to convince them that it's regular flip it back and you're done I think it makes all the difference I think it was worth just interrupting this video for that now back to the tutorial but you've forced two cards onto them the rest of it is all presentation remove the pack spread them and there are the two missing cards from the pack practice and enjoy